Hello, cheeky cat. What are you doing? What are you doing? There's always stuff in my garden ready to distract me at every moment. <laughs> Uh, but hey guys, today I'm doing a q and A. I I asked you guys over on Instagram if you had any questions for me and you guys, that you always give me the goods. We got so many questions, so big thanks to you. Stay tuned if you wanna hear my answers and reveal all. it's Becky and welcome to my channel and thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Um, if you're new I am Becky <laughs> and I do a lot of plus size fashion, beauty, lifestyle, all that good stuff um, and I like to do a little Q&A video probably around every six months. Um, it's a great way to um, just keep you guys updated and it's just really nice to have a little chat together. I asked you guys over on my Instagram it's at Becca Wren. If you're not following me, I I don't post a lot over there, but I'm in my stories a lot, and it's a great way to um, you can DM me and stuff over there as well. If you ever have any uh, questions that need answering as soon as possible, uh, we do have a sponsor for today's video, and that is Prime Opinion. So, do you fancy earning a little bit extra on the side, maybe for a rainy day? Or are you saving for something special like a holiday or that handbag you've had your eye on? It's time to turn your spare time into some spare change. That's why I'm really excited to be partnering with Prime Opinion for today's video. Prime Opinion turns your opinion into cash. There's loads of surveys available 24 seven on their easy to use website. And you can do them from the comfort of your own sofa or even your bed, I'm not telling. <laughs> Plus they have instant payment in under two minutes to PayPal, plus loads of gift card options. You'll also earn a sign up bonus plus an additional 10% points for each survey completed within your first seven days using the code Becky10. Find the link in my description box to start sharing your voice and earning real rewards. A huge thank you to Prime Rewards for sponsoring a portion of this video. I'm actually filming on my new camera today, so it's really, really strange to have my phone in my hand um, and you guys seeing the phone, it's bizarre. So yeah, I did ask you guys on Instagram uh, for some questions. Let's see what we have got. We've got loads and loads of questions. So the first one I'm gonna go for is from Harriet, and it's what are your holiday plans coming up? So um, I'm going to Cannes with work for the film festival. While that's not a holiday, um, it's very exciting. So going there with Han and work and um, it's an advertising festival uh, called the Lion Film Festival. And basically, um, it's, I think it's more marketing than it is advertising, because advertising is more fun. Um, but basically they have like speakers from like Amazon, Facebook, Meta. They even have some celebrities. I think Queen Latifah might be talking. <laughs> Um, they have all sorts of people all come to Cannes uh, and it's just an amazing opportunity, amazing networking opportunity. Very, very excited for that. So I have been buying some clothes because obviously it's going to be in June that I think I might even do a vlog about it because I do think it would be really interesting to show you guys. Um, so I have been buying some clothes for that because it is going to be really, really warm and I want to be comfortable, presentable, but also show a bit of my personality. So I've been buying some bits for that but the biggie the big holiday this year is for my 30th birthday uh me and jp are going on a cruise i'm so excited it's going to be jp's first cruise he's a little bit nervous about it um just because yeah he's never gone on a cruise before and i guess he doesn't know what to expect i have tried to like uh kind of settle his nerves a bit uh we're going on royal caribbean which i think will be perfect for us there's lots of activities it's a little bit more of like a modern fun cruise line i think it's perfect for our age group and that is going to croatia and greece um jp's been to neither places i've only been to places 
on a cruise and that was probably over a decade ago now at this point so those are the two holidays I have planned so far um, I do know like my mum might want to go somewhere as well this year so those are the two plans but yeah the cruise obviously is the biggie if you could oh, this is from Emily and she says if you could only shop in one clove shop forever what would it be it probably would be ASOS um I know we all moan about ASOS but they do have such a huge range compared to like all the other websites out there while there are some brands that I really really love I know that I probably won't be able to buy jeans from them or they won't sell basics like underwear how many plus size um places even sell underwear so for me ASOS I could literally buy everything from um from wide fit shoes to plus size friendly jewellery, underwear, swimwear, jeans, basic t-shirts, stuff like that. So um, I know ASOS, there has been some like, you know, people aren't very happy with them at the moment, but still they are kind of like the industry leaders in um, plus size range. Uh, so yeah, I know it's not a very exciting answer. If I could like pick a brand and then like them sell me stuff that would fit me, I do love Never Fully Dressed. I just love their prints and patterns. And I feel like they are a bit of me. Like as you can tell, I love a bit of colour, I love a bit of print. Um, so I feel like Never Fully Dressed really represents and I'm so glad they go up to a size 28, but they are expensive. So I would need to win the lottery <laughs> to keep... Um, yeah, to keep buying from them. Then I've, obviously, there are so many questions about me and JP. So this one is from Lucy. I'm gonna do, this is the JP boyfriend segment. Um, how did you meet your partner? So me and Bay JP both lived in London. Um, I moved to London, I think in 2017 or 2016. I can't, oh, after COVID now, guys, I have got not a clue. <laughs> about what the years, the years that have passed. So I used to live in London and I actually had planned to live in London forever. I'd never had planned to, to move back to Southampton. Uh, so I'd moved to London, um, I think we met in 2018, in the summer of 2018, because I remember it was the World Cup was on. The summer of 2018 was such a good summer for me. Uh, me and Han had just gotten our first job, which was so exciting um, after placementing for a really long time. Um, and then, yeah, I met, I went on our first date the day before I started that new job. So it was crazy. It was like a new beginning. Um, and we met, we spoke on Bumble. Um, I always liked Bumble more because... You could see what guys were interested in you, which was always like a comfort. And then it was up to you about whether you actually messaged them or not. It did feel like you were more in control as the woman. And I feel like the guys on there were a bit more like, like I don't know, a bit more respectful because of that situation. Because like the girls have to message first. I just feel like, yeah, I just feel like the guys on Bumble were always just a little bit like, nicer and we're actually like looking for relationships rather than other things uh so yeah we met met on bumble um and then our first date was at pizza express because i had a buy one get one free coupon um and yeah when you're on like an, your your junior salary and you're going on lots of dating i always like one of my own mantras is like don't never expect the guy to pay like that's up to him if he's going to offer it so i need to make sure i <laughs> to pay for the, the date and when you're going on quite a few dates you need to start being savvy um so yeah we went to pizza express it went really well he was so sweet i remember like seeing him on london bridge in his little shorts because it was such a hot day um i decided to walk from bermondsey to london bridge and i was i had to stop like five minutes before i got there to like pat myself down from <laughs> And then we went to, I think it was called the Oyster Shack, where we just had some drinks and got to know each other. And 
yeah the rest is history um a lot of other questions are asking will we ever live together um yes i know there's a lot of questions here about like marriage and the future of like me and jp um obviously like it's really hard for me to talk about this online because it is such a personal thing between me and my boyfriend um but we have got future plans for us to be together uh it just when that happens i just don't know so many things are at play um not just you know if we could do it today if he could just be here now he probably would be <laughs> so um, there are plans in the future uh how the time scale of that though we we don't know he thinks it's a shorter time scale than I'm thinking. He's thinking a year. I'm thinking like longer. So I don't want to say too much because obviously like it is quite private and personal to us, but do know that there are plans in the future for us to be together. I feel like that hopefully how, you know, I know, I know it's so frustrating. Like you want to know about our lives and I'm being, I feel like I'm being like oddly secretive about it. I'm just trying to respect my boyfriend's privacy. So, so. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm really trying my best. So, yeah. <laughs> I hope that like scratches the itch enough. Um, someone's asked, are you in your home for the long haul? Um, it's a tricky one as well because I feel like the industry uh, is moving a lot with um, flexible working isn't maybe as flexible as it used to be. Um, especially if I was looking to change jobs, a lot of places now are looking for minimum three days a week in the office. Some places are either going for four and some are even going back full time, which I just think is bonkers because you're going to miss out on fantastic talent because most people, especially in the creative industry, like prefer to work from home, especially like we'd rather work from home more days than be in the office. That's what I've heard from my co-workers um, and friends in the industry so I, ju I just find the whole situation to be quite odd um I love this house but I don't think I will be living in it forever um just because of that I love being so close to my parents though and it I just this house is just it's just perfect for me right now um it's a great layout. I love all the improvements that I've made to it. But yeah, it's kind of like, it's a brilliant first home and whoever gets it next, I might be renting it out. I might be selling, I don't know. I don't know. This isn't my forever home as much as I would love it to be because I have poured my heart and soul into this place and to imagine someone else living here in my kitchen, in my bathroom, taking showers in my shower. <laughs> is very very odd to me but i also know that that is that is probably going to happen one day um another person has asked where is the question um la, la, lana lina uh why do you not do sheen hauls anymore i used to really love them as they're super affordable now this is uh something that i have been going back and forth on quite a lot i think i'm going to do a separate video on it because i really want to kind of put my thoughts out there to you guys to see what you think uh, because I do have such it's such a polarizing subject um for me I've had a lot of feedback from some guys saying they really really don't want me to do she in videos um so much to the point where like they like won't follow me anymore they don't want to subscribe to me they don't want to um, view my channel anymore and I tell that that's that's a serious you know serious situation and I do get it because obviously there's been a lot of documentaries a lot of eyes on Shein for their business practices um the way they make the garments the, the very little pay the workers get um stealing of other people's ideas and stuff but on the other hand please let me know any brands that aren't doing that apart from like Lucy and Yak um like where do you think Boohoo and Pretty Little Thing are making their clothes where do you think ASOS are making most of their clothes 
um, even brands like Prada and designer high-end brands are not, they're using the same factories. Um, it's not a Shein issue, it's an industry issue. And like um, the girl said in the, in the question is it's super, super affordable. And the range, the sheer range and volume and styles there are available to us is like no other out there. And I know a lot of thinner sized people are like, oh, there's so much fash fashion. We've got so, so, so many options, so many options. Well, good for you. <laughs> So I'm so on the fence about doing a Shein hauls again because I still wear some of the Shein pieces from when I used to do Shein hauls. For me, some of Shein's clothes aren't fast fashion. Some of the stuff I'm still wearing, washing all the time. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do a bigger video just to get a broader opinion from people. Um, Part of me wants to start doing she and hauls again because I feel like we're having less and less option within plus size fashion, even more so. And I would love to be able to show some affordable options as well as options that people can buy from practically anywhere in the world. So yeah, it's a, it's a tricky one. I hope that kind of covers some of what I'm trying to say, but I think I will be doing a separate video. One person said, why is my mum so iconic? <laughs> um, my mum, actually, she always wanted to be a teacher. Uh, first, she was a hairdresser. And then maybe I should do a Q&A with my mum. Would anybody be interested with that? But I feel like my mum always, she knows how to like bring theatrics and a show. And she's also really funny. So yeah, my mum, and also my mum really doesn't hold back on things. Like she does really say how things, how, how she sees things. Like she says it how it is. So um, yeah, I think that's probably why my mum is so iconic. But if you would like a um, Becky and Wendy Q&A, mum and daughter Q&A, uh, let me know. Okay, now we're gonna go into a section which, you know, trigger warning, we're talking about weight loss, we're talking about surgery, ozempic, etc. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna block out the person's name because um, obviously it's a quite a personal uh, question, uh, but do you feel pressure to get uh, weight loss surgery uh, like other influencers? And they said that they feel pressure. Uh, yeah, I, f I do feel pressure. Um, and then another person's also asked, would I ever take Ozempic? So the biggest reason for me that I haven't done anything medical is because I have like a severe phobia of needles. When I was getting my COVID vaccination, like I can't tell you what I went through. Um, it was horrific. I had to get free vaccinations um, to be able to go see JP, because that's what was happening at the time. Um, you had to have a vaccination, like proof of vaccination stuff. So, you know, I hadn't seen JP in like months. So I was going to do anything. But I had to have like numbing cream. I had to take diazepam. And I still had immense panic attacks when it was happening. And with the amount of, well, obviously Ozempic is just pure injections. <sighs> if I could take Ozempic as a tablet, I would. Um, it's, it is purely how how it needs to be done and some people might think that's really pathetic that I can't do injections but it's like a, I can't help the feeling that I get I can't stop it even talking about it is making me feel like it. um and the weight loss surgery that's I think that's obviously something that's so permanent um it's an individual, it's an, a completely individual decision. And obviously one of my closest friends, Trina's had it done and I know she doesn't regret a, a, a single second of doing it. She's so happy with, um, with the fact that she's done it and she's done fantastic on it. Um, but for me, like it is, it is a, per, like a permanent change and weight loss surgery, it's not a fix all. Um, and I, you know, you, I don't know if you've seen Trina's like 50 days challenge she's doing at the moment. You still have to like work on it. And it, you are basically constantly in that kind of like diet 
mindset of like your proteins and making sure you've got your fibers and stuff so yeah it's a it's a really tricky one and i think don't feel pressured to do it but because like seriously like think to yourself like well do you actually want to do it or you know it's, it's a very personal decision very personal decision but for me those that's my reason like it is a phobia it is a fear um i would try ozempic if it wasn't um an injectable um because you see what's happened to like sharon osborne and you think damn <laughs> um and then um charlotte has asked do you ever feel discriminated for your weight well just life <laughs> it's just um i don't i don't feel like personally targeted but i do feel just like the world is just set up against us if you know what i mean like you go into restaurants and they have seats with arms they've never ever considered that someone might struggle with the arms and their their thighs or their hips um yeah it's just it's not discriminant it's just like un unconscious bias really i think there always is unconscious bias just in everyday life so yeah i think whenever you're a minority be that race, religion, body type, you're always going to face some unconscious bias, some form of discrimination. Um, and obviously, some some minorities more than others. Um, so yeah, I, it's unfortunately just kind of like a part of being plus size as a part of being fat. You're always going to have that kind of, that kind of thing going on. Um, but then I want to reply to do, 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 do. this one what is your top tip for feeling confident comfortable and confident in your skin um for me for me as well like you're for the most part you're never going to see these people again like if there is anyone that's ever being like discriminatory to you that's just like a stranger like well how pathetic are they like they need to get a life <laughs> um I always just think like, well, I'm gonna, it's really hard because I I just feel like confident in myself. Like I am, I'm happy in who I am. Um, I have a fantastic boyfriend that always tells me I'm pretty. I've got best friends that always tell me that I look nice and my outfits are cute. My parents, you know, they're always say, oh, my makeup's nice today. You know, I have a really great support network around me that really like, show me love and show me you know support and i think if you have like people around you that uplift you you're gonna just feel more uplifted in yourself and more confident um but yeah if I always just feel like if you're going on a holiday and you want to go to the pool i've always said this like you're never going to see these people again like you're in spain like you're not you know if you don't want to take a photo of yourself don't take a photo of yourself but just like go to the beach in that bikini and like live in the moment i really try not to let myself stop me from doing things i want to do like if i want to go to the pool i'm not gonna like not go because i'm gonna be in a swimsuit or bikini like in case i offend someone at the pool for me being me and guess what no one's ever said a thing to me like and to be honest like they've never really batted an eye even with jp's pool just because it's like residents they've never like they don't really care because they're just there relaxing themselves so really i think it's more in your head than everyone else's obviously you're going to have people that are just not pleasant and might say something but for that part they're just really pathetic anyway just pathetic losers that just have no life <laughs> imagine being that pathetic that you comment on other people's lives in such nasty negative ways like just they don't have a life so much so that they comment on other people's it's really really sad and i really feel for those people like get a life <laughs> So yeah, that's how I that's how I try and feel the most confident. Like, just forget about what other people are th are thinking because they're probably not thinking anything, and never let it stop you from doing something that you're like really 
want to do. Okay, I think we're gonna have one last question. Oh, this is a fun one. Have you ever done a colour analysis and what season were you? If not, would you do one? And this is from Bonnily. Is that my Bonnily? Am I saying that right? Probably not. Um, I do think I'm in autumn just because I'm a redhead, but I'm not 100% how um, sure how it works. I, would you guys be interested in a video? I feel like every single person on YouTube has done a colour analysis. I do know my mum's friend does colour analysis, so I can always do one with her. But yeah, I do think I am potentially an autumn, whether I'm a soft autumn or a hard autumn. I don't know how that works, but I think I'm an autumn like jewel tones quite suit me. I'm definitely not a spring, I think. I'm not sure how it works. I feel like it's very, very, like, yeah, you have to be like trained in it. So yeah, let me know if that's a video any of you would be interested in me doing. I think that could be super, super fun. But yeah, I'd definitely be up for it. But yeah, I think maybe in autumn, but I've never done any, I know there's all those filters all over TikTok, but yeah. <laughs> So guys, uh, thanks so much for all your questions. Sorry if I didn't get around to answering one of yours, but I will be doing another one probably very soon. They're always really, really fun to do and it's just a great way to interact with you guys. Also a huge thanks to Prime Opinion for sponsoring this video. Uh, don't forget there is a link in the bio down below. Uh, you'll get a sign, like a sign in bonus, um, as well as 10% additional points uh, for your first uh, seven days of you completing surveys and that's just with the code becky10 it's a really great way to earn a little bit of um, cash on the side if you are saving up for something or you just want a bit of a, a rainy day fund you can literally do it while watching the telly um, watching youtube uh, so a huge thanks to prime opinion for sponsoring this video if you enjoyed this video and you haven't yet don't forget to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up and let me know any questions you have down below in the comments that i might pick next time and I'll see you all very soon. Bye!